everyone, Maximus McCullough here with Avon Website Pro, and today we're going to be talking about secure passwords. So we're going to create secure password or the sign-up script in this tutorial with PHP, jQuery, and Ajax. All right, so here's a little demonstration of what we're going to be doing. As you can see, if we go here to our local host and we scroll down, uh, we have no uh, users in this in this table. So if, let me scroll. Let me uh, scroll out here real quick. You can see that there's nothing here. If there was something here, you you would see it. Um, so we're selecting all from users. So let's go ahead and go back to our little demonstration here. So we'll put a username of Maximus in there. We'll put an email, max at a1websitepro.com. And then we'll put a password. And we'll just do the password QQQ. And if you hit submit, uh, I made it so that you could see the username here and the the email address but also the password that we entered right here and as well as the encrypted password that you could see right here and I'm going to show you how to encrypt these passwords and use them in your applications uh, starting right now so let's dive into uh, a bare bones HTML document and get started so let me put something in the uh, the head here first we'll replace the title and since we're going to be using jQuery we're going to bring in the jQuery library from Google and that's what this script does right here this is our title this is our script so without further ado let's drop down into the body tag and let me grab the uh, inputs that we're going to be using here and pop them in there and explain what they are Okay, so the input ID is name, the type is text, the placeholder we're going to have is username. This input ID is going to be email, the type is text, but we could actually put email here. And then the placeholder is going to be email address. The next one is the input ID of pass, for short for type password. And whenever you have this, that's where you'll get those dots when you start typing out the, uh, the information so that it's hidden from anybody that's looking over anybody's shoulder, right? The placeholder is called password, so they know what that field is for. Finally, we have an input ID of submit. The type is a button, and the value is submit. Okay, now we need a place to display all of our confirmation fields. So we're just going to make a div ID of display and close that div out there. We'll be targeting that inner HTML with the script that we're about to paste in here. And let me go over it with you as soon as I get it in here. All right. So here's the beginning of the script tag. Now we're at on the document ready function. Whenever submit the click for uh, the click function starts taking place. So here's the ID of submit. So that's what that is there. And we're going to have var name equals dollars or uh, pound name, and we're getting that from right here var email okay email we're getting from this ID right here and the var pass we're getting from the ID of pass for the password finally we're gonna create another variable and call it data string we're gonna set a variable of name one and we're gonna call the name from what we got in that div ID of name we're going to call email and whatever was in the email uh, div we're going to pull it in to this variable right here finally the password right here that we got from uh, this ID we're going to put store into a variable called pass and call it pass one the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do some checks if they didn't enter anything in the name field or the email field or the password field we're going to have something target uh, go come up in the display div that says please fill out all fields else we're gonna make an Ajax request the type is gonna be post and we're going to go to processor not demo processor and we're gonna take our data string that we made up here and we're gonna set cache to false on success the function we're gonna get the result and then we're gonna target the div of display once again and we're gonna put the result in there Finally, we're going to close everything out with these uh, closing curly brackets and the parentheses and return false and then cl finish closing everything else out. 
with the curly back brackets and parentheses, and, and our script tag. And of course, we have our body and HTML tag. All right, so we see that uh, it's submitting to a file called processor.php. But before we do that, let's load it up in our browser here. And let me go back just a little bit. Oh. There we go. Reload the page. And we'll put a username. We won't put a username, email, or password. And if we hit submit, you could see that, you know, since we didn't put anything in those fields, it's bringing up our little warning sign. Please fill, up, fill in all fields. Okay. So the next thing we got to do is develop this processor.php file. And that's located right here. And uh, let me go ahead and bring in some uh, script tags that I've done for the sake of time. So we're going to include the config.php file. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to do in the processor.php because we're going to be inserting it into the database. This is what the config.php file looks like. And if you look at our last lesson, which this lesson is related to, uh, we include this db.php. And the only reason why I did this is so whenever I'm doing the tutorial, I don't give away my password for my database. So I stored them in variables on this. That's not necessary. All you have to do is replace these variables from the dollar sign to here with what it is. For instance, this could be localhost, this could be root or whatever your uh, username is for your database. This will be your password for your database and this will be the database name. Okay, and you can take those variables out and take this out if you like. All right. So going back to the uh, processor.php, that's what the config file contains. So let's grab the variables that are posted to the processor. And let's look at this. So the name one, which if we go back to index here, we could see that name one is here. It's, it's part of the data string that's being called in. The same thing with email one. If we could see that in our processor right here, email. And then finally, we have pass one which is in our processor.php file <clears throat> as pass1. We take these and we store them in variables that, PHP variables, that we're going to use to insert into our database and echo out to the, the field. Now, <clears throat> whenever you do passwords, what you want to do is use uh, some type of encryption. And this is really easy. What you do is you take the variable of pass, which was the password, and you store it right in here. And it's going to do an SHA1 MD5 encryption. Okay, it'll encrypt that password, and then we're going to store it into hash. Finally, we're going to insert that into our database. Okay, and we'll insert it into our database like this. Now we have our config file up here with our variable of con, and we're going to insert into users in the members database the username email and password and the values are going to be the variable of name the variable of email and the variable of hash okay notice i'm not putting pass in there anywhere because i want to use the encrypted password in the database and you need to make a habit of doing that okay so let's go ahead and uh, talk about what we're going to be echoing out back to the script in the display div okay so we're going to be echoing out a strong tag and whatever the name is we're going to end that strong tag uh, we're going to start another strong tag and echo out the email and then we're going to echo out the pass this is the password and so that would be the original password and this is the encrypted password you'll notice we're getting the hash what we turned it into all right Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to close our uh, connection to our database, and uh, that'll echo everything back out to the script. So let's go ahead and go back to our database here, and let me zoom out so it's a little bit easier to see, because you can see now right here, that was whenever I originally did it at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and delete that field, and then we're going to refresh this page. And I'm going to start putting in a username. We'll call him Jack. We'll say Jack at a1sold.com. And then we'll give him a password of QQQ. And then we'll hit submit. 
And you'll notice here's all the information that we have back from Jack with the hashed password. If we go to the uh, PHP My Admin and click on here, you notice here we have div ID or uh, user ID of two, username Jack, the email Jack at A1 sold, and now we have an encrypted password. So this is what you want to do whenever you're creating applications where people need to log in. Our next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, log in or log in uh, um, to a content management system and how to use this password when you're logging in. So you want to stay tuned, subscribe to the video. The next video is going to be about log having users log in and confirming the password. So a lot of people have a little bit of trouble uh, with that, but uh, hopefully I can help you solve that issue. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial was useful and beneficial to you. Bye.